G'day, Mr. Fitz here. Hope you're going well. This tutorial, we're going to look at a bracket. So this is tutorial number two. Now, this is the part we're going to look to model. It is a ba basic L-shape bracket. It has a few holes, which is used for fixing the bracket or providing some support. So it could be used for something like a shelf or to fix two pieces together at right angles. Now, this may look a lot more complicated than the first tutorial, but like many things in CAD, we just have to take things one step at a time. And I usually begin by trying to build the main shape of the part. So in this case, if I look at this left side view of the part, it is a basic L shape. Basic L. So I'm gonna start by building a sketch of the side of the bracket. Start simple. Let's go to Inventor and we're going to create a new part file. So I new part stand part create. So we always begin with a sketch. First step sketch. I'm going to sketch on the XY plane, which is looking down the left of the bracket. So imagine that right now on my CAD model, I'm looking in this view here. So looking at the left view. So I'm going to create the L shape. Use a line starting in the corner of the bracket. I'm going to draw a vertical line, come across to draw the thickness of the material, come down. You see as I go to draw this, it's trying to constrain my model as I build it. So if I make this vertical, you see this little icon comes up that says, do you want it to be vertical? Yes, I do. Click. And try and draw it as accurately as you can, just with, with regards to the shape. Yep, go down to the x-axis, click here, and then back to the center. And that's complete. Looks like the L shape. Okay, I'm still in the line command, so I can press escape to get out of that. This looks somewhat like my bracket. Now, as I said on the last tutorial, you can see these two lines here are blue. They are what I'd call semi-constrained, which means that they are on these axes. So if I click on these and move them, I can't actually move them. These black lines, however, I haven't given this any information with regards to the size. So I can click on the black and I can move it, as you can see. Things in a sketch will only move according to the information I have given it. So I'm going to create some dimensions. So let's put in a dimension. So let's look back at my drawing. And I need this bottom part of my bracket to be 50 millimeters wide. So I can go dimension, click on that line and this line. Come down here, click again, make that 50. All of a sudden my model will grow. This length here is going to be 75. And I know that the thickness of the part is going to be 5 millimeters thick. So I can click between those two, click here, and make that 5. Now you did notice here that I haven't put in these fillets. So these here, I'm going to put them in later. It is good practice for things like fillets and those sort of curves to put them in as a separate feature. So you'll notice that this almost looks right. I've still got this line here is black, which means that I need to say how thick it is across here. Now, here I've got dimensions. This will tell me I can make this from here to here five millimeters. 
Another way to do this, because this is already five millimeters across, there is a whole world here of what we call geometrical constraints. So we're going to learn these as we go, but today we are going to use this one, which is called equal. If I click on equal, now I'm going to click on this line. So I want this line and this line to be equal. Great, that's what I want. That all now looks blue, I can finish my sketch. Cool, now I'm going to extrude, click on extrude. It picks up my profile. Um, I'm going to change the direction so it goes that way. And this is going to be how long? 100 millimeters long. Add a zero. 100. Cool. That already is a long way towards our model. Next, I'm going to model in these holes. So I'm going to start by doing the holes on this bottom part of the bracket, which is the shorter leg. So that's a 50 mil leg, and I'm going to draw these holes here. So the way that I do this, I create a new sketch. And I'm going to sketch on this face here to draw my holes. I'm now looking down. So this view here that I'm looking at is very much the same as this view here, the top view. I'm looking down on my part. So I want to create these holes here. So go to circle. I'm going to draw my holes as circles. Make one circle here. One circle over here. Again, we just roughly sketch this. Don't worry about the size of it just yet. I'm going to add in my dimensions in a minute. So now they're there. First thing I'm going to do is put in an equal constraint. So I'm going to say that this circle and this circle are equal in diameter. That's good. I'm going to put some dimensions in now. So, how big is my hole? This is going to be 10. You watch as I press enter, this one will update as well. They'll both update. And I have some dimensions to add. So, 15 from this edge. I can click on that edge. And then click on the center of the hole. And click out here. That's going to be 15. 1, 5, enter. And the distance between this is 70 millimeters. So I can do 70 from here to here. Click point to point. 70. And from this edge to the center, click over here, is 15. Looks pretty good. Now, this hole over here, this circle, is kind of gone a bit funny sitting all over the place. What I need to do, I want this to be along the same line as here. So what I could do, I could put in a dimension of 15 from here to here. If I make that 15, that'll now be even along here. So that, that's okay. That's one way of doing it. Another way I could do that, is I could draw a line from there to there, point to point. Press escape to stop building lines. Now I can make this line horizontal. If I click on it, I can make it horizontal. Whoops, sorry, it wants to be vertical in this orientation. Click on the line and I'm going to make it vertical. And that achieves the same thing. Either way, you can put a dimension or you can put in a construction line. And finish the sketch. Cool. Now I want to make those into a hole. I'm going to extrude. Choose the two 
profiles. Now in this instance, when I do an extrude, I don't want to build a solid. I want to cut. So click on this one here, which says cut. That's going to cut the holes down. As far as a distance, I could put in five as my thickness. What I prefer to do, however, is to change this one from distance to all. That means it's going to extrude as far as it can until it cuts through everything and go OK. The reason we do all is better than writing in five. If for some reason your part wants to be thicker, say six millimeters, you'll have to change both this part as well as the holes. So this one will always cut through. Okay. Cool, so that's those holes on that face. A few more things to do here. I'm going to let you model the holes up here. So you're going to repeat the process I follow here. Remember, you need to start with a sketch, choose this face, and then you can have a go at putting in the holes on this top face. Now, last few bits besides those holes is to put in some fillets. So click on fillet. This is going to round our edges. So I'm going to start by doing this inside edge. And this is going to be, according to my drawing, down here, 5 millimeters. this inside radius. So make that 5 and go OK. This outer is going to be 10. So click on fill it, click on the edge and make this 10 millimeters. Look at that, you're just about there once you put your holes in. The last step is to add the fillets around the outside. So you'll note here that the fillets around the outside are how big? Looks like I've missed them from my drawing. Yes, I have. Okay, I'm going to make these fillets 5 millimeters. So let's go back and put in a 5 millimeter fillet on these edges. So click fillet. In this case, I'm going to create multiple fillets at 5 millimeters. So I can click on this line, on this line. So you always click on the edge or the corner that creates a fillet. Got this one, and also this one. Now, if for some reason you've chosen one that you don't want to add, so I might have pressed the wrong line, hold the shift key on your keyboard, and then click on an edge. This will deselect it. So let's say I clicked on this edge by accident. I don't want that, so click shift, Re-click and it will undo. I want this edge. And 5, I'm actually going to make this 10. Go OK. And there we go, there's my fillets. Add those top holes. And that's your bracket. Looking back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 features. You'll have six because you'll have one more cut here. So only a few steps, less than 10, 15 minutes, and you've got a good bracket. Very good, well done. On to the next one.